We're up there for hours, like, here it comes, here comes. We're like, where is it, where is it? Frat boy. We could have been hurt so bad. And then after a while, we're trying to catch it, like, why are you guys going? Must stand down. <laughs> well, on behalf of Casey and Claudia, I'd like to welcome all the family and friends who have uh, traveled from far and near to be here for this very special uh, occasion. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, I remember growing up, uh, uh, my father, being an ordained minister, uh, would kind of drag me off to his weddings. To, to listen to his about 20 or 30 minute speech where he would advise and counsel uh, the couples <clears throat> and uh, all I could remember is just dying for him to just stop talking and let me go raid the dessert uh, table before my brother Johnny would get there um, and he just he'd just go on and on and it was frustrating uh, I remember one time uh, after I grew up a little bit more and I was about nine years old and the wedding had finished and I came to my dad and I said dad why are you scaring them? He said, what are you talking about? And I said, yeah, you're scaring them. You're talking about death to his part and, and um, that, that sickness or in health. They're going to run away. And he's like, they're not. And I said, well, has anybody ever run away? And my father said to me, no, they haven't. And I said, why? And he answered, because, because they know. They know. And I think, Casey and Claudia, you know. What you want to do. We like to believe that you know who you want, and that's the most important thing here today as well. Um, we're here to celebrate that with you as friends, as family. Uh, we're excited for you guys. Um, so I'm not going to say too much, just a few words, and one short anecdote. Uh, we have you have your vows, and we'll get this lifetime party started. Um, it was Amanda's house. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Amanda. Amanda's house. Great party, having a blast with these two guys. I just happened to be there. Next day, this man messages me and says, I don't like this girl. Uh, just oozing Claudia. Oozing. Um, what should I do? Should I message? Should I contact? To do, go for it, is what I said. Back of mind, I'm thinking, just out of your league. <laughs> <laughs> and I, but, 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 but considering that, I think I realized something is that at the end of the day, everybody's out of everyone's league to a certain extent. We're different. We're from different leagues. We're from different backgrounds, different cultures, different habits, uh, different tastes, different strong points and weak points. And that's okay. It should never deter us from trying to achieve and unite with someone that we love. Um, and I respect that. I, I, I think for Casey and Claudia, you, you're, you're not much different. You're two different sizes. Different leagues to a certain extent. <laughs> and that's okay. That's, that's part of who you are. That's, that's part of what makes it special is that you can find a way to sort of complement each other and snuggle into each other and not necessarily lose your individuality but find that, that way to be each other's half and in the end, harmonize. Whether it be a major or minor harmony, to harmonize. And that's my wish for you, that you may find love in sweet, sweet harmony. At this time, we'll be doing our vows. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, um, uh, Claudia will be doing her vows first, followed by Casey, uh, followed by the presentation of rings, of which there are two. <laughs> I've checked. I've checked. <laughs> checked. Many times. Uh, so we'll have. For the first time, and certainly not the last time, I take you as my husband. 
So when I'm ready, for the rest of my life. Of all these beautiful people here today, and I'm so happy to see all of you here. Thank you for coming. And I promise to love you always, even when you leave me at home <laughs> and go play ball with your friends at Randy's. <laughs> <or> <laughs> I take you with all of your faults and your allergic reactions to dogs <laughs> as I offer myself to you with all my faults and my inability to put anything away when it's supposed to belong, <laughs> including our passports. I'm sorry. We found them. <laughs> I choose you as my partner for life, my partner in crime. Until the day you jump off Bunko Bridge to get away from my nagging, which you keep saying to me every day. Um, you're my best friend. You're my teammate. You're my arch enemy. You're the family that I choose. Till the end. Cody! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we were very busy. We didn't have a lot of time to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Most men only get to write vows once, sometimes twice, but they can always just recycle the old ones. I'm one of the very few fortunate men in this world who get to write vows multiple times. <laughs> I'm fortunate because I have the opportunity to sit down every few weeks, basically, and remind myself why I love you and how I can make our relationship work better. However, some of these vows I will always recycle because there's truth and value in them. So for the new ones, I promise to always know where your earplugs are when you ask, <laughs> even though they're always in the same place you leave them. I promise that I'm never going to give you up, never going to mess around or desert you. Never going to give, never going to give, never going to give you up. I promise, <laughs> I promise to always give you your own blanket so that I don't have to steal it back from you at 3 in the morning when I wake up shivering and you're wrapped up like a warm little croissant. Because after all, winter is coming. Uh, I, had to. <laughs> I look forward to starting this next chapter of, of our life. Or rather, this next, now fourth or fifth chapter, are we on? I also look forward to starting the next chapter. And I hope it's someplace we don't have so many friends so I don't have to paint everything in sight white. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe said that if you can make a girl laugh, she'll do anything. But the truth is, when I make you laugh, I'll do anything for you. And every time I, you do, <coughs> I fall more in love with you. You are my partner, my love, my anchor. You are my home. The home that I chose and the home that I will always be with wherever I go. Oh. And it is the power, uh, no, that's not the power, and it is by the power, <laughs> so <sewed> on me, <laughs> um, by uh, the monastery.org. <laughs> <laughs> it's 5,001, but it's all right. No, it's brilliant. By, by my father, who, who did ordain me over Skype the other day, uh, that, I, that I pronounce, uh, ma pronounce you uh, husband uh, and wife. And if I may borrow from uh, an old Irish wedding blessing, may the blessing of light be with you always, light without and light within. And may the sun shine upon you and warm your heart until it glows like a fire so that others may feel the warmth of your love for one another. All right, you may now, in front of all these people, <laughs> make out. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the first time in Korea, Mr. Casey Browns and Claudia Mame Browns. Yeah, go for it.
Ready? Cell phones off. <laughs> right. Let me check. Dog barks off. Right. I'm not very intelligent, so I've got to write a speech. Especially when Claudia phoned me in the last minute and said, Dad, you've got to say something. You know, I started panicking and stressed about it. But that's why it's all, you know, I love to read it because uh, I didn't go to varsity, university, so... Okay. Yeah, brain. <laughs> right and groom, Claudia and Casey, family, mother of the bride, Rosin, friends, invited guests. It gives me great pleasure to be standing here to say a few words on this great occasion, as it is the wedding of two very special and beautiful people who have decided to form a tandem for life, Claudia and Casey. And if you don't understand my English or my accent, it's a bit of Franco, Anglo, you know, South African. Being a Mauritian by birth, it is not in our culture but the father of the bride is called upon to make a speech on the wedding day of his daughter. However, having lived in South Africa for half a century, and I'm not giving my age away, I'm only 51 years old, this tradition is now a must. And when my lovely daughter Claudia asked me to say a few words, how could I refuse to do so? It is a great honor and privilege to be here today to share those magic moments together once in a lifetime. Let me kick off way back at 7 a.m. on the morning of the 17th of October 1984. <laughs> when this bundle of dark hair appeared in the world, in this world. The third of three beautiful daughters. But this third daughter immediately decided to nominate her for Miss World Baby Competition. <laughs> she was extremely beautiful and I patted myself on the back. <laughs> As they say, it takes a man to achieve a hat-trick, a term used in sports, which I did not achieve all my life by playing soccer, but by making three beautiful baby girls. <laughs> Beautiful she was. Babies, as you know, are normally not too good looking when they are born. But I must say that I was taken aback by her beauty. I was jumping up and down with joy, shouting, wow, you know, I can't believe how beautiful she is. It's a good thing her sister's Trying to get the attention of my wife, Rosalind, who unfortunately by then was in cloud nine having been exhausted with the delivery, using all her energy pushing to deliver this tough cookie. <laughs> Claudia, some 30 years later, this beauty <coughs> has not faded, physically and internally. Oh. <coughs> so, you are as beautiful as ever, more to say today. I knew by then that my wife wanted desperately to have a boy to please me. <laughs> I think to please her more than to please me. <laughs> However, Rosin and I were not disappointed. From that day onwards, Claudia grew up with extraordinary qualities. The list is a very long one, and I don't intend spending the whole afternoon <laughs> telling you about them under the South African sun that I brought here. Well done. It's getting quite warm and hot. I think that every one of you here today who had spent some time in the company of Claudia would have realized her great qualities. The one that struck me the most was her dedication and commitment to life. Her priority was her studies. She made sure that throughout her schooling years, she achieved the highest standard of education. By earning top spot year after year, with averages of between 85 to 95 percent, and in the process receiving numerous awards. <laughs> her, achieve, her achievement did not stop here. She pursued her dreams to study at the university and qualified for a master's degree in her final year, obtaining the distinction of cum laude, which means a pass mark of over 85. <laughs> Claudia, your dedication and determination takes you to another level in life. We all know that you are a perfectionist. <laughs> You have made us parents extremely proud throughout your life, and I have no doubt in my mind that you will make her, your husband and children to be very proud of being a wife and a mother. 
I think he's just put an order in. Well, I can right now, but I don't want to. Yeah, he needs dogs. <laughs> Time has come to turn my attention to the man of the moment, Casey. Who well, I must admit, I know very, very little about. We'll Apart way. from speaking to you on the telephone, receiving a thank you message for my wishes on your birthday, and having spent two nights so far at your apartment, <laughs> the thing that strikes me the most is your politeness and your good manners. You, your good habit of calling me sir is much appreciated. <laughs> However, I feel that I am too young to be called sir, as I have not received that title from the Majesty the Queen as yet. <laughs> you are now part of the Mamet family, part of the Mauritian Mafia. I hope you know what you're getting in. The, no God of the God of Father allows you to call him Kai or Guy, spelled the same way. We will <coughs> I have no doubt that as we get to know you better, we will find lots more of good things to say about you. Talented in everything you do, I hear. But one that comes to mind already, apparently a very good chef which I look forward to lots of good dishes during our stay in Korea. <laughs> Rosin was somehow disappointed not to have had sons, but I always reminded her that one day we will end up with three sons. And today we are delighted to welcome you, Casey, to the Mamet family of our third son. Welcome. You have received a pearl in Claudia, but remember that like everything else, it requires to be polished once or twice in a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia and Casey, a new chapter has unveiled, a new road has unraveled, and a new challenge has begun. Life of a married husband and wife. One very important word you both need to remember is commitments. Use it and it will see you through the next hundred years. From the bottom of our hearts, we wish you both lots of happiness, joy, and excitement in your new life without forgetting to produce some grandchildren to grandma and grandpa. <laughs> He's kidding. Please, <laughs> okay, everyone, let's raise our glasses to this lovely couple. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. You want to wait a little while? Yeah. Have, a, have a few drinks, <laughs> then we'll call you back to the, to the microphone. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Claudia said that uh, I, I, I've got to be careful about my throat when I'm speaking, because uh, if, I, if I give out too much information, she's going to cut it. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm a little bit worried. Um, what I would like to say is that uh, uh, I've, when I first uh, met uh, Claudia, um, I thought she was crazy. <laughs> About Casey. <laughs> Uh, which is good, which is good, because I am too. And everybody who knows Casey is also crazy about him as well. Yes. Mwah! <laughs> um, I should say, I, I should be wearing my, my BFF uh, tag up here, but uh, it's being rested on right now. Uh, I've known Casey for some years, actually. It feels like a lot of years, but it's actually about three and a half, something like that, right? I, I don't remember everything. <laughs> and if you know Casey, you'll know why I don't remember everything. <laughs> um, we've had some good times. We've had some very, very good times. I have drunk my own body weight in Jam Jameson whiskey. Here, here. Here, here. <laughs> several times over. Uh, at least that's what he told me anyway. I, I really don't remember it. Uh, we've bantered and we've joked. And we've gone throughout the night playing poker. Got up in the morning and played Suicide Boomerang. Suicide Boomerang, that was a fun day. That was a fun day, wasn't it? That was a fun it? day. Do not play with the boomerang early in the morning after a long night. <laughs> it's because it's, you can't see it. It really is. Something. It's just you, look, you just get hit on the head, that's it. Um, and it really has been a thrill of a ride. Thrill of a ride. 
Anybody who knows Casey will know what I'm talking about. His attitude changed though, when he met Claudia. He got a little bit more serious about life. Got a little bit more focused. He started to grow up a little bit, I think. He'd found his real soulmate. I'm just a mate. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes me happy, truly happy. Very happy. Uh, so, anyway, I'd like to propose a toast, but then I'm going to give you a little poem. So the toast is to the happy couple. Yep. Yeah. To the happy couple! To the happy couple! Cheers! 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 I'm sick, man, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and I, I tried to find the, the most appropriate poem that I could. Um, I, I searched a long, long time on the internet for the most... For, really? It's short, but it's, it's sweet. So my, um, my poem, Casey, yeah. is... Uh, is, is, is now? Yeah. Oh, pointy bird. <laughs> oh, pointy, pointy. <laughs> Anoint my head. And ninety ninety. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. to be something very small, very simple, um, because of certain circumstances in our lives. Um, it's much bigger than what we thought it would be, and that's because of everyone's help. So, first, I'd like to thank Enemy. Please present yourself. Without Enemy, we would have a dirty, dirty rooftop with no decorations whatsoever because Casey and I lack some creative imagination which is required for this kind of event. And so Anime really gave us that creative mind for this and so thank you Anime. Um, I'd like to thank Kristen, I don't know if she's here right now, I don't think she is, um, but she managed to get me some booze from the base. Uh, which many of us have been enjoying and not so true and not Cass. And so I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> Thank you for all the dips and the vegetarian food. Um, I'm trying to go vegetarian and really struggling right now. And so you helped me today and thank you very much for that and for accommodating the vegetarians that are here today. Um, yes, well done. Daniel! No. Daniel! Sexy beast. <laughs> Thank you for delivering the bread. I know that you want to open your own bakery soon. Um, and this is a great starting point. <laughs> Thank you for that. Patricia and your beautiful band. Um, right from the beginning. Yeah. 
Stop. Yeah, Stop. right from the beginning of today, I wasn't on the roof with you guys, uh, but I could hear you from my bedroom window. And you just lightened my heart, you made me not stress, and I could enjoy the day with everyone, even though I wasn't here with everybody. So thank you for that. Um, we haven't bought the desserts out yet, and uh, they will come out soon. So thank you for the people, they're actually not here right now, but Gabriella and Jenny, um, they brought cake for us today. Some of which actually came all the way from South Africa to be here today. So that's very special. Yeah. I'd like to thank and Gary. Me, we'll oh, that's my dad. <laughs> uh, Gary, I'd like a special applause for Gary. Gary with his dog Yuna. Uh, they were able to come here today. Thank you, Gary. Thank you for having us. Thanks for saving Yuna. Oh, you know, she saved yeah. Yuna. <laughs> We saved, we saved you, yeah. And it's it's very special to have you here today, and and thank you for recording. Oh, thank you, Claudia. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, um, Brent. Where is the sexy Brent? Brent, thank you for the photos today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Brent. Um, yeah, Brent. I don't think we could have done this without you. Actually, if it weren't for you, like we'd have no photos today. It's very expensive <laughs> and yeah. so. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And Joshua, a very special mention. Is Josh here right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah Josh. The Josh minister. <laughs> the minister's son. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the two rings today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, yes. to my parents. They traveled a very long way in a very short time and only had a couple of days to help us. And um, the work that you guys did today was absolutely amazing and I wish that you could have just sat down and relaxed and enjoyed as much as I did and everyone else did. We so. are enjoying. <laughs> so, thank so. you. Yeah.